hello everybody welcome to this video in this video we're gonna talk about how to drive a four digit seven segment with arduino using minimum pins to do that uh, we are going to use very popular ic called 74hc595 it's a 8 bit shift register that has eight separate outputs the advantage of this chip is that it doesn't require a complex protocols like i squared c or svi it just need three gpios to control the outputs uh, you can see this uh, ic pinout in this picture um, q0 to q7 are the outputs um, ds is the data input pin shcp is the clock pin and stcp is the pin that let you transfer data to outputs um, oe is output enable a logic zero on this pin enables the outputs if you put a logic one um, in this pin uh, the outputs will be high impedance high, or high z or disconnected just i can open switch and doesn't let current to flow through output pins um, we connect uh, this pin to gnd to make outputs always available uh, MR is master reset pin a uh, logic zero will reset the output to default state that is logic zero um, we connect this pin to uh, VCC um, and the last one Q7S is data output pin we will explain the usage of this pin in further also there is a VCC pin in here that you can connect to 5 volt pin of Arduino to uh, provide the power of this IC first of all let's see the connections and pin out of a 4 digit 7 segment okay um, as you can see in this picture uh, it has 12 pins um, 7 for displaying digits uh, they are here 1 for dot point or decimal point and 4 pins for each digit um, there are two types of 7 segments common anode and common cathode in our case we are using common anode type uh, each digit consists of four uh, me, seven LEDs one two three four five six and seven in common anode type the anode of all LEDs um, connected together for each digit as you can see in this picture uh, anode pin of LEDs are connected together um, so uh, we should connect anode to VCC and to turn on each uh, LEDs we should connect its cathode to GND as the cathode of each digit LEDs uh, is common through these uh, four digits we should multiplex them to display each numbers uh, we can use um, this table for example to display number one um, we should turn on b and c b and c leds and turn off other leds uh, as uh, it is a common anode 7 segment uh, we should write zero to B and C pin as you can see in this table for one for number one we should 
uh, write uh, 0 to B and C pins and write uh, 1 to other LEDs cathodes. Um, let's go further. Um, the working uh, procedure of our shift register is shown in this picture. Um, we put our serial data, for example this data, on DS pin and we put our uh, clock on SHCP pin on clock rising edge here the data on DS pin will shift into the 8 bits um, register of uh, 74AC 595IC um, after 8 clocks our 8 bit our 8 bit uh, bits data will completely shift it into the register then uh, we can put a rising edge pulse on STCP pin and our 8 bits data will go to our output pins if we make an extra rising edge clock the first bit that is shifted in which is 1 uh, in our case the first bit is 1 uh, um, which is here uh, it will uh, go to Q7S pin uh, which is pin uh, number 9 in our uh, IC and all bits all these bits will uh, shift 1 bit Order. For example, this uh, bit will go to here, and this bit will go to this position. Um, and new data on DS pin. Let's uh, assume that our new data is zero. Uh, we'll replace with the last bit that is one. Um, it will go to this position and this one will be go to this position also uh, we can use another shift register to make 16 outputs uh, let me open this picture here uh, we should connect Q7S pin of the uh, first shift register to um, DS pin of the second shift register and connect SHCP uh, and STCP of uh, both of them together. Um, the final circuit diagram will be like this picture. Um, here is the project code. I defined uh, three integer variables for data, clock, and STCP pin. In my case, I connect STCP to Arduino D9, SHCP to D10, and DS or data to D8. I also define an uh, array for each uh, number from 0 to 9 based on um, this table, this decimal value um, and in uh, here I made these pins as output and wrote uh, logic 0 on them um, in uh, here I defined a function to refresh the seven segment it has uh, three parameters the number that should be displayed uh, the LED number that can be from 0 to 3 and a boolean term if you want to active the dot point you can pass through and if you don't you uh, don't you can pass false to this function okay so um, in here I shift out uh, to the second shift register 
LED number that I want to show this number on and since I place um, and since one of the digits should be on at the same time I place the switch case here to determine which LED should be on for example if you want to display number 4 on the second digit uh, you pass 1 to LED parameter in here um, in this case uh, we switch on LED parameter and because it's equal to 1 the variable D will be equal to 2 which is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0 in binary system and because we shift MSB first uh, we will have um, 0 here, 0 here, 1 here and 0 here uh, which will be equal to number 2 so uh, because 1 is here and it's a common on a 7 segment the 1 will be here and the second um, digit will be turned on and because the others are zero the they will be turned off so let's go back to the code um, in here in here we um, in here we shift out the number that should be displayed uh, MSP first and here we generate clocks on SHCP pin and finally in here we make a rising H pulse on STCP pin to transfer shifted bits to output pins and here in loop function we refresh the seven segments every uh, three milliseconds by using our defined function let's upload the code to arduino and see the result okay so it's uploaded in our case we are going to display one four zero zero and a dot point um, after number four so you can see in here the result and it's okay so if you want to change the numbers you can edit these parameters for example I'm going to edit it to two I'm going to show dot point next after the two so I make it to true and this one to false so I upload the code to Arduino and see the result yeah, as you can see it changed and the code works properly